that was found was Isaiah the prophet, Ishayahu. The entire scroll of Isaiah in, in Hebrew. And, uh, well, it was eventually purchased and, and uh, they built this. And then, of course, over the years, it, many other scrolls and fragments and writings and sandals and, and even tefillin, you know, from the, that time before Jesus. And th this, uh, one of the writings is from the Qumran sect. These are the people that copied the scrolls. And those were, they were like purists. They were like, uh, well, they were like uh, heterites. They, they lived in a community, right? And they considered the temple and the Pharisees and the scribes and all these guys corrupt. So they would no longer recognize the leadership and they formed their own very strict community. And, uh, and, and then when the, in 70 AD, when the Romans were coming to kill everybody they could find, they hid the, these, all their writings and scrolls in the caves of the mountain. They fled and they went to Masada, where we're going tomorrow, where they and all the, the remaining Jews were, had held up against the Romans. They, that was brilliant. You'll see, we'll talk about that there. And, but they were all killed, or they killed themselves, really. <laughs> rather than be captured. So, then, you know, 2,000 years goes by, and we have the scrolls and all of what they left. Amazing. They left it for us, and the same seed, you know, has it back. Again, you can see that spiritually, you know. And, and uh, so, we built the, the, uh, the, the monument here, and this is in the shape of the top of the the face, uh, right? The skull was found in. Okay, that's the top. And, and now, the Kumran Trek has their own writing, and not extra biblical. And one of the, the essential ideas is, in the end, there'll be a great war between Bene Or or Bene Jose, the sons of light and the sons of darkness. The sons of light. Of the, the, the great monster, the, 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 the